Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. I haven't uploaded in a while, but yeah, I don't know why. But I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get experimental futures in the world that's already been created. So, the first step of all this, you want to download this NBT Explorer. And then you go over here, click on this. <clears throat> and then you want to download the zip folder. Then you head on to your files, downloads. There will be a zip folder like this, and then just click this, extract all, and then once it's extracted, you want to double click on the folder, and then there will be an mbtexplorer.exe. Double click it, and as you can see here, I have all my worlds in <clears throat> my .minecraft folder. So, like, let's say I do this. If I create a creative world without any experimental futures. Alright, so I'm in. As you can see, the experimental futures that are in this snapshot or the minecart max speed show slash game roll minecart max speed. So it does not show on here. And so I'm going to save and quick to title. All right, so this is a just it's just named New World, but if you want to go back to MBT Explorer, it should say whatever your newest world is. So I you have to restart it because it has to refresh. So it's going to restart it. MBT Explorer, and then it should say your newest world. Click on the plus, click on level dot dat, and then click data. And then, as you can see here, there should be some kind of experimental futures right here, but there's not. So how you want to actually add it in is you want to go back to Minecraft, create new world, and you want to create another world with all the experimental futures you have done. Doesn't even matter what it's on. Alright, so I'm in. As you can see, if I do game roll... Minecart max speed. I can set it to something like 1000 or whatever, but then you want to save and quit. Of course, like I said, you're going to have to refresh this again. So I'm going to open it back up, and there should be a world 14. To so go back to the level.dat over here, data, there should be that. And then scroll all the way back up again to new world 13. I mean, scroll all the way down to new world 14. Go to the level.dat data, and then there should be the enabled futures, and it shows you the redstone experiments, bundle, vanilla, trade elements, minecart improvements, but you're going to want to click on this, and then there's going to be a little copy thing up here, right here, you're going to click it, and then you want to go to your other world right over here, and then you're going to want to go over here, and then if I click on this data thing, and then click paste and it, it will be inside of this folder now so it's inside of the new world 13 and then you want to click file and then um, save or you just press control s so I'm gonna exit out of here now and my crash should do that kind of glitch thing and then you can go back and as you can see it says experimental now so if I go back into the world if I do game rule minecart max speed that's how experimental futures has turned on and also i have the new bundle because that was also in the experimental future thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed the video then subscribe and uh yeah see you in the next video